Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here at the military airport... Security is very, very tight. God knows why we have to get them. If it was hard, yes. We could have whisked them down to Barnard. But the name here... Yeah, that's all it is. Don't be wishing to suspect leukemia. What if I can show it is? Then back he goes, sister. We don't want any dead presidents clushing up the corridors of this hospital. How the bomb was introduced into the president's car, and by whom, is a mystery which the Swiss police are still trying to solve. There's been a further attempt on the president's life at a meeting of the non-aligned nations in Bogota. To date, there have been eight attempts on his life. Here he comes. Here he comes. an unofficial visit. Guard of honor present and ready for inspection, sir. now embarks on the last lap of his journey.
What's happening? What happened here? Huh? It doesn't seem anybody's hurt. Well, what about the bat? Oh, he was in the other car. He's safely tucked up in hospital by now. After what happened, of course it's necessary. I am to continue to guarantee the president's security, gentlemen. Precaution. Like switching cars. If he hadn't insisted. Oh, for God's sake, just do as you're told. Mr. President, tomorrow I shall start taking tests. Maximum acid output first, and then a bone marrow biopsy. This will entail an anesthetic. I would prefer that you didn't have any visitors. Very well, Doctor. I'm in your hands. But if I'm to be out of action tomorrow, I would ask you, gentlemen, to please excuse me. I would like to confer with my aide. Colonel Pala, I'm very pleased with you. Thank you, sir. Not used to being complimented by a black man, eh? Didn't mean to sound patronizing. But it's an easy habit to get into. Isn't it? I look in later, sir. Do that, Colonel. I told Dr. Sensor, no blood pressure, no palpitation. And you know the two of them don't work very well together, right? Take them to the station. Take them to the station. Captain Morrow will be uh, on duty right through the night, sir. Don't think I'm being oversensitive about security. But this afternoon... The... No, no, there'll be a... There'll be a man stationed outside your door at all times. This whole wing has been closed off and you're its only patient. Well, this is Slade, your male nurse. Present. The tea. And I want you to settle down for the night. Excuse me. Why do nurses of either sex bully their patients? And treat them like naughty children. Have it, I guess. Usually works. Well, I'll uh, say good night then, sir. Kill it tomorrow, Colonel. Romeo and Juliet, Colonel. Shakespeare. Sir, do you need me? There's a red button by your side. And uh, no candy. You're American. Yes, sir. Louisiana. Babies are being born every day. Oh, well. Uh, Slade. Yes, sir. The old thingamadings got a bad attack of the jitters. Keep an eye on him for us, will you? Look, I'm a nurse, not a cop. Thank you. With the extra security people around, he shouldn't come to any harm. Ah, please, God. About this afternoon, who do you reckon's behind it? Uh, uh, someone uh, from the Brotherhood, most likely. That gang's been after him ever since he took over. Is over. Yes. Okay, see you. Right. Darcy, could you go and give Sister Coatsy a hand in Ward 3? I uh, think she needs some help with all the good candles. I suppose she wants turning again. Both have a large way with pants. You could have sent me. I'm paid to work. Yeah, I did. But uh, I want to talk to you. Oh, what? Well. There's something wrong. What is it? 
Sister Hobart, not during working hours. Don't sit near me. Look, I uh, know we're not sleeping together anymore. Can you stop being bothered? Hey, sailor. What happened to that guy that flew into town three years ago? He always had something. The something. <laughs> what happened to it? I began to feel uh, ridiculous. Playing the youngster. Wow. You really hit below the belt, don't you, Slade? Let's face it, Jane. That's where you and I live. Below the belt. That's all you ever wanted from me, Slade. Jesus. You're the only guy that's ever made me feel like a whore. I'm sorry, Jane. Why can't we really it? It's over. Jane, you and I... We just screwed it up. Yeah. I guess I just couldn't compete with a 15-year-old kid. Taylor, you're gonna listen to me. Yes, ma'am. You are so riddled with guilt. Slade, you're overcompensating. You're excluding everybody else from your life. Getting you. Not... Oh, God, I hate... You know, I just... I hate this Freud crap. What, what, what the hell's wrong with a man loving his daughter? That's not the point. You're sick. Because I prefer my daughter to you. Oh, yeah? Yes. Right. I want you to know something. I knew Mary. What about Mary? What about Mary? I worked with her. When she died, I phoned you up, right? I know all about that. Yeah. Oh, Slade, how the hell do you know Ginny's your daughter? Sure. Yeah. Look! She is mine. Because I've made her mine. I have been ringing for hours. You've been ringing for less than a minute, sir. Um, if I stop behaving like a naughty child, will you intend to procure me one small glass of whiskey? I could use whiskey myself, but it's, uh, it's not on your list. Anything else? You know, when I specifically asked for a man to come among my nurses, I hope you'd be more sympathetic. Well, uh, sympathy I, I, I can't give you to. Then to hell with sympathy. Can you be bribed? Try me. Ha! Ah, so it's a pleasure to do business with you Americans. You're less complicated than my Russian colleagues. Now, what if I wanted something which is not on the list? How much would it cost? Well, that ain't matter, sir. Say, uh, a million bucks. <laughs> oh, chicken feet, compared to what some people would pay to make me happy. Unfortunately, I don't have the catch on me. Trust me. I don't take bribes on credit, sir. Oh, well. So I'll have to limit my demands to a mild sedative. For one cigarette? I gave up smoke. Do. Would you like to borrow my book? You like uh, cowboys and Indians? I like Indians. 
Feria, a mí también lo dice. The wind in the willows. The sort of art. The art of fairy bands. Fairies. Fairy. Oh. To be honest, I just wanted someone to talk to. About what? Great men talk about ideas. Mediocre man talk about events, and small men talk about personalities. Which are you, Mr. Slade? Me, I just collect garbage, sir. I'll tell the assistant about the tranquilizer. And remind her I'm not on adult patrol. I don't want to be worked into false saddle. Mr. Slade. Yes, sir. Everyone has this prize. Yes, President. Jane. Sandra Love? No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Thank you. You're uptight about something. No, I am. just poop. I can feel it. You're all tied up in knots. That's enough. Sit down. Of course, sit down. Jenny, how much money have we got in the bank? Ah, uh, so that's it, money. Oh, we're doing all right. We've got 1800 in the bank, not counting your next paycheck. And we've still got Mom's money. I may be going into a deal with a guy. No. No deal. Well, I think I have. That's why I need the money. You're thinking of blowing town. Maybe. Yeah. Well, you've given me more. More of everything than uh, I'm, I'm sure anybody has ever had. And if I tried to stop you going, I'd spoil it and I'd really lose you. So, sailor. Hey, Dad. If you want to, it's okay. Honey, I'm... Honey, I'm not... I'm not going any place without you.
Mr. President, will you come away from that open window this very minute? Am I to take it that breakfast is served finally? No, you're not. You're to take a bath. We're getting you ready for the theater. <sighs> Mother, you are a happy. Now, Mr. Shannon, you know the rule, boy. You're supposed to be in bed when the doctor makes his run. Come on, get in. I'm just standing around the window. To be in. 550, and you got a deal. It's a bargain. You know something? With a wife and six kids and a birthday coming up next month, why should I hold that for seat? Okay. You'll, uh, take a check, huh? Now and save myself a trip later. They're only delicious. You want some? No, no. Have you two been fighting again? Right. Yet, sir. It's still dark. Yes, it is, sir. I'll open the drapes in a second. Well, I... I have to give you another injection, sir. More tests this morning. Dr. Sheffer finished yesterday. I don't believe he did. Left arm or right arm, sir? Left. Are you sure about this? Yes, sir. But Dr. Sheffer definitely said completed. You didn't swap my arm. Thank you, pardon, sir. You didn't.
Angry again. Just get to the loop. one way of killing time. Uh, How is he? Well, he's uh, sleeping. Oh, man, it's been a long night. That's right. I'm going to get some fresh air. Welcome. No, I can't. I got to stay here. Slave, huh?
He's not there. I took the president his tea and he's not there. Did you look at the uh, can? I certainly did not. Then will you go and check, please? He's a pusher, Doc. He's a pusher. <laughs> Downers, you know, to keep yourself from getting tense. Downers? <laughs> All anybody can do to get me to swallow an aspirin. I see. Downers. Taken regularly, certain barbiturates can provoke the same symptoms. But in your case, let's just say it's a mystery. Once you're dressed, I'll sign you out. We can use the bed. The way I heard it, they got another empty bed they weren't expecting. Huh? Our very important patient. Skipped. Well, looks like I'm about to skip myself. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We, we've tried our best, but so far there's just... I don't want your excuses, Colonel. I want the President back. Unharmed and within 48 hours. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I can't guarantee that. The local press, we can handle, Colonel. But the Gambon delegation... They've given me 48 hours until this story makes international headlines. Fail me again, Colonel, and your own fate will be no less spectacular. Anything else?
will have to unlock me. But didn't work. It wasn't meant to. Where, where, where's the the can opener? It was there. That was it. Miserable things, too blunt. When did you reach up this little escapade? Yesterday. Really? Political or financial? Strictly financial. Good. Political kidnappers scared the living jealous out of me. Debt or poor greed? I need the money. What are your terms? A million dollars. And a plane to get me out. You have a commonplace mind, Mr. Slade. Oh. Um, a million dollars and an aircraft. But now... What should I have asked for? A thousand bucks and a bicycle? Perhaps it's, uh, it's warm. It's clean. And when do I get out of here? When they pay up. 
Breathe deep now. I'm breathing, I, I'm breathing. And we can do a flesh of the back, chat. Sister, I was told I could find uh, Colonel Parler here. And there's a note, too. Hey, hey, what about the steam? Yeah, you breathe for me. <sighs> Splendid idea. I have no inkling the kidnappers were so civilized. No. I'm an exception. Look, I can't police you every second. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to change again. Trust me. You? No. What if they don't pay up? What then? Oh, you and I have a problem. You wouldn't consider harming me anyway. I don't think so. Or tea. Yes, sir. Enough to die? Not quite yet. Oh. You die, I'll stop to death. And I'm not ready yet. Neither am I, you. I'll get you. The note said the president himself will call and give us further instructions. Here? No, the hospital. Presumably because there are some of the staff who can identify his voice. I, uh, I want one of our men on the hospital switchboard at all times. When the call comes through, I want to transfer directly to me. I'm going over there now and I'm uh, not leaving unless I've spoken to the president. We probably don't stand a hope in hell, but uh, uh, get a tracer set up and a tape recorder plugged into the, uh, the board, OK?
But he might decide to make a rump. I believe you. I'm wider than you. Watermelon. Lona. Forty-five cents. Oh. Now, here's the telephone number. And that's the message. And that's all you're going to say. Okay? Okay. Phone? Yes. Do you mind if uh, he uh, uses it? No, no, no. There you are. thousand dollars in used notes. Yeah, I've got that, sir. And the destination. Oh, one more thing. Uh, can we expect the Brotherhood to make any further demands? Brotherhood? Brotherhood. Where did you get that? Mark, did you expect me to use my name? That was a very intelligent ruse, Mr. Slade. They do have banal minds. Come on. Excuse me, how much was that call? Ten cents. Is there any change? You can hardly expect me to pay for the call. Uh, I have no change. Thank you. Can I have a chocolate bar? What? Huh? Mm, excuse me, I'm a chocolate bar. I'm hungry. Chocolate bar? Please. Okay. Which one do you want? I have one of this. Milo? Hey, give him a Milo. And I'll take uh, a snack. Yeah. That's always about a hundred thousand dollars. Just sort of good thing. That's what it said. There you are. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't like this one. Can I have this one? He doesn't want a Milo. He wants an aerial. And the million? It's factory. Okay? Okay. A hundred thousand dollars is an insultingly small amount. Ah, you don't understand. You see, if I invested at, uh, say, uh, ten percent, well, that's, uh, uh that's ten thousand dollars a year. So I'm to provide you with some income. Yes. You are growing stranger by the minute. Why the hell do you think I did this? Why did I do it? Why the hell did I do it? I mean, how the hell does a man explain to someone he loves it? <laughs> He's a criminal. I mean, how can I justify that to you? Sure, I keep telling myself I, I did it for her. That's the only explanation I can come up with. Jim, remember that time I went to Cape Town for a couple of days and I told you I was going fishing with the boys? I told you a lie, babe. I really went down to have a blood test done. And uh, uh, they told me what I already knew. <laughs> In other words, they, they told me to forget about my next birthday cake. But, uh, now I ask myself, what the hell is my reason for dying? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I do know my, my only reason for living has been you. And you see, I have a, I have this desperate desire to, to leave you something, something for the future that I, I, I can't, I can't have with you. You know, kid, the thought of you. And in the years that I won't be around, you know, that pain for me is a million times worse than this, this stupid pain in my gut. Honey, I have to pull this crazy thing off. 
Anyway, honey, to hell with... To hell with understanding and forgiving me. Look, kid. Just try to go on loving me. Yeah. Just go on loving me. I've got main station here, overlooking the main road. Colonel, it is understood that no move will be made until the president is returned. Perfectly, Minister. My brief is to identify and hopefully shut up. And the money genuine? Yes, it's genuine. 100,000 in used small denomination notes. <laughs> Plane ready? Ready, yes. Crewed and fueled. Good. Money? Money, yes. Right. In. Dump it and out. Don't hang around. Go! Anyway, just get onto the fire brigade now. by the joint efforts of the fire department and by the change of wind direction. The varying wind drove the flames away from the dense timber 
and down onto the bushlands, where only the scrub and buildings of the now deserted Dorf mine lie in its path. Roads in the area should provide a natural fire break, and no additional action is contemplated. your money. Chance, let me go. You're crazy. You're the only thing I've got left to bargain with. You gambled and you lost. Or you lose if you insist on hanging on to me. Come on. Get back in the van. Get back in the van! If I refuse to part you. Look, don't make me use force on you. You stupid. Why did you come back? Now I owe you. Okay. One last throw then. some blankets, empty out the medicine chest, and uh, just get here. Well, we're not feeling very well. Neither of you? Honey, I I'll tell you about that later. Just, just come here. I'll start right now. Okay, honey.
all right? Why not? You saved me. Mr. Slade. Yeah? Could I have a drink? Go ahead. Same technique to break into the British gun room. In you go. choose our parents, can we? How do you do, Mrs. Slade? My father's done a very wrong thing, Mr. President. I know why he did it. Just on behalf of the Slade family, I apologize. I really am sorry. Hey! Where's the medicine? Where'd you put it? It's in the corner. In the corner. You, you've got to take him back. Honey, you have gone too far. You've got to. No, baby, no way. Take him back to the hospital. Then come home for a bath and a shake so you'll look decent when the police arrive. something work on my life. But you've done so much. What? What besides the Navy? You, you helped build Brazil, yeah? And, and the pipelines in Alaska. And, and the highways in Burma. Honey, it was all a lie. I never went to Burma. I bumped around trying to be somebody, but I was, I was nothing. What the hell have I done the last three years? I've emptied out bed pans, wiped up the garbage. What the hell am I? You're everything and I love you. No, no, you, 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 you love me because of lies I told you. No. But I'm nothing. Break it out for a moment. I hate emotional family scenes. And you still have a hungry head of steak on your hands. Keep, A 
the president been found? Not yet. He hasn't. Huh? Now what? Oh, you stay put till I call you. Trust your local police. They'll find him for us. I just hope Mrs. Death is worth all this hassle. Oh, I'm guaranteed by the Russians it will be. If they fail me, I'll have to try the Americans, won't I now? You're too much, baby. What is it? Nothing. Jane? I, uh, I called him at it. Friday night. He said he'd taken some APC. Ooh. Sailor. Slave. Did you check if anything else was missing? Of course not. Why should I? Check now, Jane. Please. What's Slave's right. number? Oh, come on. Jane's no. number, please. You can't seriously think Look, that Slave... I'm not thinking anything. I want to check something. Come on, please. What's his number? Um... Just a um, moment. Seven two eight double three six four. Seven two eight double three. What? Six four. Six four, please. This is Colonel Parler. Yes. Intravenous value. Quite a lot. Enough to put the old boy to sleep, maybe. Comes yet unless we let them. Well, not anymore, because my dad brought it. Bought it? Yeah, that's right, son. I, uh, I bought it. You mean we can't come here anymore? Yeah, sure, why not? When I, when I fix it up, you come back. You're an American, aren't you? He talks like a cowboy. Cowboys are American. Know your place, boy. Call the gentleman, sir. Sorry, sir. Police are anxious to interview Ernest Hobday's place. Son, turn that off. Here, give me that, son. You're in. That's who you are. Give me that! Come on, Dad. Let's go! Well, come on, Slate. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Come on, Slate. Could you just give us the details of the van you sold him? And I give him the details? Here. Here's the pepper. As soon as I hear his name on the radio, I call. Like a good citizen, I call, and what happens? Suddenly, my place is swarming with policemen, and I'm dragged out here. Excuse I've got me. a business to do. I've got to sell motor cars. I've got a living to earn. Give us down. Dodge van. Brown. Registration number. TJ-303-809. Dad? We can't expect to stay so lucky. Those kids will have told us, and they must know about the van by now. I know, I know. Choice is yours, Mrs. Slate. The description of the van has been confirmed by a woman in Hutterbeer's foot. She didn't see it herself, but her sons did. Sir, they've been spotted. Where? They crashed the barrier on the Pretoria-Johannesburg Road. That's it through to the flyers. Flight captain. Identification of van is Brown Dodge, one tonner. Letters KC on rear doors. Observe, but do not endanger occupants. Repeat, observe, but do not endanger occupants.
We've got him, sir. He stopped at the bottom of the cableway. Should they intercept? Tell them to observe. Do not intercept. Repeat, do not intercept. Roadblocks here. Yeah. Yeah. Slade, his kid, and the president have gone into the terminal, sir. Colonel, I wonder if I might pass on this marvelous news. There's a telephone next door, Minister. Thank you. Right, gentlemen. We move in. A cableway is somewhere above the RWS board there. Well, according to the radio, the whole army's out chasing him. Then you better get to him before they do, hadn't you? I'm gonna need a little time. I'll see you get it. Use it well. Your own time is running out, Mr. Shannon. Like all patients. <laughs> what happens if they turn off the power? That could be embarrassing. One thing I forgot to mention. I hate heights. Don't, Dad, don't! We can't sit here like ducks. Jenny, how are you? Jenny, Jenny, hey, don't, don't, don't look down, honey. Don't look down. All right, Jenny, I've got you. In the car, Jenny. Yes, that's it. Go up. Ah. Don't worry. Here, here. That's, that's it. it. Don't look down. That's it. Get your balance now. All right. Just keep looking at me. I know. I want to count three. Then you jump. The way you used to, remember? Huh? Okay. One. Two. Three! <laughs> you all right? <laughs> Your old man's proud of you. Hey, if we jump, right? Will you two please get out of the way? Come on, sir. It's not necessary, Mr. Smith. No one caught you, so no one's gonna catch me. Okay. Funny if I don't make it. I'm the only one who's gonna be upset. That'll make two of us, Mr. President. Good. Then I'll make it. Come on, then, jump! Then move away from there! Hey. 
Didn't help that leg much, huh? What's more important is we made it. <laughs> I want the whole area cordoned off. Set up a barrier down there. Once your men are in position, they wait until I give the order. I'm going to try and coax him out. Thousands who want me dead. Down there, now, there are thousands who want you dead. The price we pay for being somebody. How does it feel, Mr. Slade? Have you got something to write on? Huh? You got something to write on? Money in the cable car. What? We left that money in the cable car. <laughs> How very clever of you, Mr. Slade. Very clever. Terminal and observe. Ground control to flight captain. Ring top terminal and observe. Tell them to keep visual contact until our boys are in position. Colonel wants you to keep visual contact until police are in position. Over. Roger. Just you don't make any move to release me, as it may jeopardize my position. Uh, may I speak to Slade, sir? I'm afraid Mr. Slade insists, and I mean insist, that all negotiations are done by me. What are his conditions? 
Mrs. Slade doesn't want his daughter endangered anymore. She is coming down with all the conditions of my release. So please, put the power back on. Put the power back on. I thought I did rather well. And inform all units to hold their positions. And don't fire. His daughter is coming down. The old situation has changed. We can't touch them. if they say no. We have a saying, O God look back on what we know and go. What the hell does that mean? Careful what you want, you might get it. Anyway, she said. I've had that test before. Pretty soon you'll be asking me if I'd let you marry my sister, if I, if I think you like watermelon. I am fond of watermelon. Yeah, so am I. So what? But tell me, are you really sure that we do have real? As a matter of fact, yeah, I do. You know why? I don't know. Because as kids, you Played around with drum crab. Because you in the West believe for tomorrow. Then the East. 
before yesterday. We live for now. 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 of His Excellency President Lundau Gamba, the government hereby guarantees the safe conduct of Ernest Hobday Slade and his daughter Virginia Mary Slade to the American consulate where they may remain until Mr. Slade is well enough to be flown out of the country. All men to opposition, do not fire on this order. Start winding down. Still don't trust me, huh? It's me they are concerned about. You're expendable. Sir. Helicopters reporting someone shooting at the cable car, sir. I want us no firing, just cover! Negative. Not ours. Investigating. Inform all units to seek and destroy. All units seek and destroy. It's not the only problem we've got, Colonel. Inform all units on the ground to converge at 10 o'clock. Mr. President, we cannot get any closer. 
thought a down draft could knock you off. Here come Marines. Sir, if you can climb from the car onto the pylon next to you, we can then come in and hoist you up. Yeah, 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 yeah sure, it's easy. With wings. Come on, let's go. Oh, God. Flay. Oh, Christ. Slade! Slade! Oh. Oh. You've been a bad hat! I understand that. That's one thing they don't do. Tigers. They don't do what? They don't cry. Slade! We'll have to go across. After you, sir. Oh, you're right, Mr. President. Did it hurt you? Less than most people. <laughs> <laughs> 